love going to the farmer's market, especially because it's been so long and now it's actually starting to get into autumn. That just happened suddenly this week. One day it was still summery and Chips and I were walking to go eat some vegan sushi downtown and it was kind of still really hot and we were talking about it being summer. The next day it got really, really cold at night and now all of the leaves are starting to change, you guys. The beautiful oak trees over here haven't really started yet, so they still look beautiful in emerald green. But all of the trees that are over in the street over there, I can see the tops of them and they're all orange and yellow. And when you walk down the street, the leaves are starting to fall in this beautiful pattern and they're starting to already kind of pile up along the side of the road just within the week. So at the beginning of this week, we were still celebrating summer and now we're just jumping straight into autumn. So I know I didn't get a lot of stuff from the farmer's market. Well, I got a lot of stuff that I'm going to show you guys in a second, but I didn't get a lot of video and it's really hard on the weekend farmer's market because it's so jam-packed with people and I try to be very respectful. We have a lot of uh, like Mennonite families especially who come and bring their stuff to market and I don't want to accidentally catch one of them or their kids who are like all walking around. Uh, on video, so I don't actually record a lot when I'm there on the weekends because that's when we have a lot of the Mennonite farmers come in and I don't want to accidentally get them on camera because that would be very disrespectful. So that's why I didn't get a lot and then it's very crowded and then it's really funny because you'll stand at a stall and you're like, wow, these are beautiful triple hot chili peppers. I want to get a video of them to share with everyone. But then, like, I have no spice tolerance. I have, like, negative spice tolerance. So then the vendor will pop up like a Jack and the Rabbit, or Jack and the Rabbit? <laughs> They'll pop up like a Jack in the Box. Um, I'm gonna say Jack and the Rabbit from now on, because that's kind of funny. And they just pop up and they look so hopeful. And they're like, so are you getting some of our triple hot chili peppers? And it's like, no, they're just pretty. I just want to take a picture. And I feel bad when that happens. But I'll try to kind of beef up. And I like, I even will go out of my way. Like I looked at a bunch of flowers, not these ones, but I looked at a bunch of flowers that I really was uh, thinking, yeah, they're pretty. I want to get a little bit of video to share with you guys. And I... I didn't want to actually get those flowers though, I wanted these flowers because I think these are really pretty. And then the lady popped up and she was like, oh, are you interested in my bouquets? And I was like, for video purposes? So in the end I ended up getting a little squash from her. Uh, uh, Chips loves big dumb plants, so I have some big dumb plants to share with him, so I think he's going to enjoy this. But yeah, I had a great time at market today, and it's autumn, and so all the pumpkins are out, and there's a whole bunch of dried bouquets, and it was really fun to see the shift in what's going on in the market because it's so intimately tied to what's going on with the land. The things available at the farmer's market are the things that the temperature and the climate and how much sun we're getting can support and make the land bear fruit of. So it's really fun to me to be able to observe the change of the seasons and the change of what's available at market. And there's still plenty of zucchini. <laughs> I actually have a lot of zucchini. I'm always getting so much zucchini. I don't even, I don't, half the time I'm not even able to eat all of it, but it's like, how much was this zucchini? Okay, hang on. All of this zucchini was like maybe $3.00 probably not even that. <laughs> it was probably like two fifty for all this zucchini. And they sell it in boxes, so you can't just like get one or two. You, you get like one box is like uh, normally two dollars, but if you get three it's five dollars, and so I got two boxes of zucchini. Dunk! So this much zucchini. It's pretty big zucchini too. <laughs> but I've learned how to make zucchini bread, but I find that I actually like my zucchini just roasted in the oven with with some uh, with some mushrooms and you know cherry tomatoes which are always cheaper at the grocery store so I feel bad and then I've grown cherry tomatoes before so it really I look at like a little box of cherry tomatoes and it's like six dollars and I'm like I don't know I've grown cherry tomatoes before I know how easy it is so it's really hard to pay six dollars when it's like if only I'd grown cherry tomatoes tomatoes seem to grow really well up here in Michigan everybody has them in their front yard because gardens in your yard are the thing here which I love so next year I'll try growing some uh, for when we're inside the United States because we're going to be in Taiwan for several months next year, which I have to wrap my, my gardening mind around because then you can't really plan out a garden like you normally would because you realize I'm going to be gone for three months of that year. So <laughs> that's like an entire growing period. So we'll figure it out. 
But yeah, so there's still lots of zucchini. Um, today I saw a bunch of fresh ginger. I almost grabbed some fresh ginger. It was fresh young ginger, just like a little ginger bulb with tall stalks. I'm not sure if I got any video of it. I may have. And I was tempted by it, um, but when I was talking to the guy, he said you don't eat it. You actually will saute with it and cook with it or put it in your stew or make tea out of it. But then you have to remove the fibers because you don't actually eat those fibers. And that sounds like too much work. <laughs> When we already have like ginger in the in the fridge at home, so I didn't get the ginger, but I was very tempted to. And then the other thing I got, which I loved last time, are these carrots. These carrots are delicious. I mean, I've had normal carrots before. These are amazing carrots. I want to buy these from the gentleman uh, selling them until he can no longer make them. But these carrots are really fun, and we cook them a lot in our lentil stew, and it's really really yummy. But they're super fun because they come in so many colors. There's a huge variety of colors. And then when you break them open, ah, look at that. Isn't that cool? They're different colors on the inside too, which I really love. So yeah, I really, I'm happy about the carrots. That was a good find. It was only like $3 and it takes a long time to go through that many carrots actually. So pretty happy about that. I snagged some sweet peppers because they looked so fun. There were so many colors. And I thought how much fun would it be to make like a fun roasted meal or a fun soup with so many colors of peppers. And I'm really a sweet pepper fan. They're not spicy. They're sweet. So I can handle sweet peppers. I would probably eat sweet peppers raw if I had to. One time I went to a wedding after I became vegan and there was nothing for me to eat at all except like the salad. And everyone had eaten the salad. So all that was left was like raw baby carrots and slices of sweet pepper. So I spent the entire time at that wedding eating nothing but slices of sweet pepper and baby carrots. <laughs> and I vowed to myself never to go to an event vegan when I don't have food with me because that was miserable. So yeah, well, I can. I proved myself I can eat these raw if I really have to. So I'm happy about that. That's a lot of vegetables that we conquered, including the really cool looking squash, which was fun. But yeah, it was just really fun to be at market and to see the rush of people. The students are back in town here in Ann Arbor right now, and so a lot of them were wandering around in little groups together, kind of looking at each other and looking at all of the chaos of the farmer's market. And it was really fun because when I stopped to start putting things in my backpack that I bring with me, so because it's a, it's a two-mile walk <laughs> to, to there and back, and so I make sure I have my backpack with me and put all of the heavy vegetables and stuff in the backpack. So when I was stopping and filling up the backpack and then some of the students uh, wandered by and they're like, is there coffee anywhere? And there's like rooster coffee or something like that. I don't drink coffee, but there's a stand that goes up every Wednesday and Saturday for the farmer's markets. And it's called like the rooster coffee or something along those lines. And everyone loves it. So it was really fun to have been here just for like a month more than them, but already be able to be like, yeah, if you're interested in coffee, it's down there. The flowers I got from over here, but you might try this vendor over there. And if you prefer sunflowers over there. So it felt really cool to actually start feeling like I knew the area and was more, I am becoming more than a tourist, slowly but surely. And to recognize a lot of the families at the market makes me really happy. So it's really fun to go to a big event like that, even though I'm a very shy introvert, to people watch and especially to see familiar faces again and again and again. So that made me really happy to see like the <laughs> The one that there's one teenage um, Mennonite boy who walks around and is always kind of just surveying what's going on. I think he slips away from his family who are very, very busy like manning their produce stand with their jams. And I think they sell some, some breads and things. But he likes to go and watch the knife sharpening guy. There's a guy there who sets up a little stall and you can bring your knives and things to him and he'll sharpen it right there. Um, he's got like other ironwork things there too. But every time I go, I can usually find that teenager. He's, he's like wandering, kind of looking, and he's watching the knife sharpening and everything like that. Because I think he thinks it's pretty cool. So that was really fun. And then the people I normally get my bread from didn't have any of my bread. And they told me that actually they're wrapping up for the season, which made me really sad. So I'm trying some new bread. And this woman was very proud of her bread. So when I went and got the bread from her, this is a beautiful, actually, 
French sourdough loaf and it's gorgeous. I think it's like what artisan bread is supposed to be, like part art. And she was very, very proud of her creation. And so it was really fun because she dug me out a really beautiful one. So I'm going to try her bread and see if I like her bread. And I don't know, I don't know what kind of kick has suddenly gotten in me to love artisan bread, but I do. So that with some of the jam that they sell at market and some of the vegan butter toasted, that's my favorite breakfast right now. So yeah, that's what, that's what I spent my day doing, and then I popped into the lunchroom and had uh, some of the vegan pancakes, because everything in the lunchroom is vegan, which is so nice, because you can just point at anything in the menu and not have to worry. And so I had some of the pancakes for breakfast, because the two mile <laughs> walk there and back really makes you feel like you earned it. And I visited with the ducks at Miller Park, but I forgot to record it, because it was so crawling with kids. And it was just really, it was really, really fun. And I am really glad I went out. It can be really hard to remember with my job to get out now and then and go do things. So I really love going to market and I love sharing all of it with you guys. I had a woman when I was eating my pancakes talk about how beautiful my candy cane zinnias, the candy cane striped zinnias are. Let me show them to you guys. Oh, and I found this guy. Is this a hazelnut? I'm not sure what he is, but I found him on the ground and I decided he was cool and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him up in my room as a specimen. So I like him. He's got a prickly butt and then he's got a kind of fleshy inside and that's a nut hiding in there. So I don't know if that's a hazelnut or not, but if it is, that means I have a hazelnut tree right in front of my house. And I'm going to go and collect any of these that I can find falling on the ground and pop out some hazelnuts and eat them if they're safe to. I need to do a little research on that. Don't just eat random things you find on the ground outside, guys. I'm not advocating that. <laughs> But yeah, I got this beautiful bouquet. It's really hard to pick because they have so many beautiful wildflower bouquets there. I should have gotten two, but I told myself, oh, one's enough, Siri. But I like having a bouquet upstairs and downstairs, so I better go ahead and just indulge while I can because clearly autumn is coming. I've been told winters are very hard here, and pretty soon I will be... Uh, kind of gently forced into getting bouquets that are either dried, which they had a lot of dried bouquets for sort of, oh, there's a chipmunk on the deck. Hi, buddy. I'm just a flower bouquet. Don't worry about me. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're going to have some fun chipmunk diaries coming up soon. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. He's stomping his back feet at me. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go inside. I'll put out your seeds and we'll go inside in a second. Yeah, you guys are going to love Chipmunk Diaries. It's going to be pretty awesome. I didn't know they would get this close to me, so maybe I could train them. That would be kind of fun. Oh my goodness. Can I reach for my phone? Oh, oh, are we going away now? Oh, can I get... Chipmunk! Hi, little guy! I hope I have you on camera. I can't see a thing. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's my day. That's my day, uh, starting, at least, so I feel rejuvenated, and the woman at the restaurant was really excited about my candy cane zinnias right here, which are really pretty. I like the little striped ones. But yeah, I love the bouquets. I'm gonna have to enjoy them while I can because the autumn is coming quickly. I've been told winters are very hard, so soon I will be mostly having to get like the dried flower bouquets that they're starting to sell at market to sprinkle here and there and then relying on the much more expensive bouquets from the grocery store when I need my flower fix. So, but they make me happy and that's kind of what today was all about is really focusing on the things that you feel rejuvenate you and can make you happy and this chipmunk is literally, are you going to come, that's my, oh you're so cute. Chips would be so jealous right now if he knew the chipmunk is like almost in my lap. It's so adorable. But I'm going to put out some food for it. And I will start vlogging again more, I think. Because just relaxing and letting you guys know what's going on kind of like deeper behind the scenes. And pardon the neighbors doing some construction. It's important. Um, and it's good for me. Just to be able to be myself and to go out and have a good time. And the walk there and just wandering around market with its chaos and its busyness and dodging people because it's so crowded on the weekend you can hardly walk or breathe <sighs> just wandering market and people watching and 
looking at the change of the seasons at the market and being able to see the pride on that woman's face as she handed me her loaf of bread, joking with the woman who I bought the gourd from, talking with the woman at the restaurant when I was eating and she looked at my zinnias and really loved them, uh, being able to get such delicious food from all of the people who have actually grown it. There's something really nice about that. And I guess talking to you guys, I realized that's kind of what the big appeal is starting to be, is we're going to be here for years. And so I want to try to make that shift from being a tourist to having regular places I go to, regular people I see, and just knowing this place. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that by walking it a lot and trying to get out of the house a bit more. I really loved what I've been trying to do over on the main channel with so much recording and so much storytelling and I definitely have debts I need to pay and a family to take care of that demand that there's a certain level of like focus on the job, focus on getting things made. But I have like almost 4,100 videos on the main channel now which is kind of amazing. So I'm hoping, especially after what I mentioned on the main channel with the update vlog, I'm really hoping that it means that... <sighs> I can start just enjoying these kinds of days more often because I'm going, I, I went, I gathered up amazing stuff and I'm going to go inside and start working on Warrior Cats pretty soon and I'll find the balance and I guess you guys just get the very interesting experience of watching as I do so. But hopefully we'll also be going on some really fun adventures and that's kind of what it's about. It's kind of fun just to know that every time I do something really fun. It can be for me, but I can also bring you guys along too. So I'm just rambling now, but I'm going to take my little gourd, my decorative gourd inside. So cute! And I'm going to take inside my flowers and my really awesome multicolored <laughs> carrots. <laughs> and I'm going to see if this is a hazelnut and then get to work and start working on my warrior cat stuff and put out the seed for the chipmunks. So I hope you guys have enjoyed just hanging out with me on my farmer's market day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!